Okay, so first up we have a shrubbery demo today. Um, I'm going to start with doing kind of a, a little outline of it. I want to keep the edges of this, the silhouette of the outside of this, kind of choppy and a lot of interior texture. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix the lightest possible color that we're seeing in this bush, the shrubbery, and kind of dab and space in um, my highlight color. So we're painting from the bottom up highlights onto darkest. Uh, you'll notice I'm using a little bit of an interrupted brush stroke. I'm not really ever making anything quite smooth. I want this to settle in the wet wash. I'm embracing the graininess of it and the patchiness of the coverage to help us build up some texture of the bush. And then while that is still wet, we're going to kind of try to work in a couple areas with a little higher saturation of that same color. And now we're going to go in and mix a little bit of a darker color. You can see here I'm using uh, Burnt Sienna to mute my greens a little bit so they're not so poppy, like bright. Uh, it's a trick I use a lot in my greens is just a little bit of Burnt Sienna, a little bit of Umber, a little bit of Brown to help neutralize other tones in them. So that bush area is now kind of suede wet, which means it's not standing water, it's not got that high highlight, but it does have a nice amount of dampness on the page. So I'm going to go in with this darker color, it's also a shade cooler, and I'm going to dot it into this while it's still wet. Same brush stroke, but I'm working in smaller scale, and I'm picking out areas of shadow or areas on the underside of branches as they come towards us to help create this dimensionality, the shaping of it. But I'm also keeping my little splotches very small, very tight, because the pigment on a suede wet page is going to expand. You can tell that on the left hand side it was actually a little bit wetter still as I'm working towards the right the paper is also drying so this is a more um, contrasty more more stark blending versus on the left hand side it's a little softer and starbursty so here I'm going to let this layer entirely dry down and then it looks like this <laughs> there's where you can see how much the wetness of the paper influenced how much the top layer blended so now I'm mixing a very dark shadow color. I've mixed my blue into my green and added just a touch of black for depth. And I'm using that to start adding even darker shadows. Once again, keeping it to smaller kind of clumps and using that dabbing texture to re recreate the texture of the smaller scale of the leaves. I'm also using kind of a thin wash of it to just tamp down the entire bottom little step of the bush where it's coming out of the ground to help add some de like depth and dimension underneath it and shape it coming towards us. Here I'm using very, very fine the tippy tip of my brush to sort of create little tendrils to add some dimension to these little tiny spikes that are coming towards us. It's almost like stippling, kind of, but in like lines, lines of stippling to show the way the branches kind of shape out. There's the deep navy that I'm using for my darkest shadows. And while that top one is wet, I'm kind of using the side of my brush now, so some bigger coverage to create bigger clumps of shadows that'll be a little bit darker. Once again, I'm going to let this entirely dry down. We come back, this is what it looks like dry. I'm taking a little bit of this bright yellow. Yellow has a nice translucency, and since everything underneath it is dry, I don't have to worry about starbursting. And sculpting how if the light were coming from that left-hand side, it might catch the edges of some of the branches. It might add a little bit of warmth to add some contrast with our blue shadows. Picking out a couple tips of branches that might be on the right hand side, but as it comes from the left, I want that a little bit more of a choppy glow, still using the texture of my brush strokes. For an additional bit of detail, if I wanted to, I could go in with this white colored pencil and create some of the little like heathered branches. The tips of them have an almost creamy color on them from your research image. So I'm making kind of um, like almost little V's marching down the edge of the branches to create some dimension, some, some different textures, and to break up the painterly texture of it. It's an option depending on what style you want to work in for your final rendering. You could also use a cream or a yellow colored pencil. Uh, I hope that that helps. When you paint around this or add your silhouettes around it, I would greatly encourage that you try to maintain the silhouette of it, that organic silhouette, and or frisket it out. Good luck!